We run! Yes! Run! You are not welcome here! No coded pattern? No hidden switches. Well, how are we going to get through the door then? Open up! It's me! I wish you to know that I bear you no malice. I understand. But when we meet again, I shall kill you. Refuse to ask how you did that. How did you do that? Well, it came to me that it wasn't Anselin's people who built this tunnel. It was Merlin. But everyone thinks that you're Merlin. Exactly. Door key to my voice pattern. Just the sort of thing I would do. Are you Merlin? No. But I could be. In the future. That is my personal future. Which could be the past. Right. I'm commandeering this car, miss. Sorry. The keys, please. What? The keys. Thank you. Hey, just a moment. This is my car. Seeing one spaceship, you've seen them all. Don't be so cynical, Ace. Wow! Impressive. That's Arthur, King of the Britons, isn't it? The legendary Arthur, yes. From another dimension. Where well, the man was closer to the myth. What is he doing here? Not a lot. Is he in suspended animation? Who knows? In eternal sleep until England's greatest need. Yes, yeah, don't touch that. Oh, it's all right, Professor. It's not like I'm king of the Britons, is it? No! Oh, I hope you haven't disturbed anything. You haven't disturbed me? Well, I hope you haven't disturbed anything else. Like what? Like that. Look. Yes. I think it's time for plan B. We run. Yes! Run! There's no way out! No, it's not the time to panic! Don't ah! turn! No, we panic! Ah. It's some form of automated defense system, isn't it? Yes. When I say run, run!
failing. I don't know if you'll ever hear this, Clara. I don't even know if you're still alive out there. But you were good! And you made a mighty fine doctor. So this is going to save us? Up in energy into the wall? No. Not into the wall. Through the wall. Rule number one of being the Doctor, use your enemy's power against them. They can't restore three dimensions to a door that never existed. Remember that. I tried to reach out. I tried to understand you, but I think that you understand us perfectly. I think that you just don't care. And I don't know whether you are here to invade, infiltrate, or just replace us. I don't suppose it really matters now. You are monsters. That is the role you seem determined to play, so it seems that I must play mine. The man that stops the monsters. I'm sending you back to your own dimension. Who knows? Some of you may even survive the trip. And if you do, remember this. You are not welcome here. This plane is protected. I am the Doctor. And I name you the Boomerus. Guards evacuating the ship. It may be of some small consequence to know we've traveled backwards in time some 65 million years. Big deal. Think about it. Do you recall the fossil dinosaur bones in the cave on Earth? What? And why it's believed they died out so quickly? Earth collided with a meteorite. Or something. The freighter? The antimatter vessel will split open on impact. There will be a tremendous explosion. The freighter was the meteorite? It seems inevitable. As is your history as we know it. You lie, Doctor. Not at all. You've lost. The Earth is safe. I can do it. I must do it.
something missing. There's something I've forgotten. Please hurry, Doctor. We must get Adric off the freighter. The console's damaged. We must save Adric. There's so little time. I was right. Look out! I must save Adric! Look! Adric! Stay put. I'll check the rest of the train. Fat lot of use you two were. Hey! Hold on there, please, madam. I need you to do as I say. This could be a potential crime scene. Why are you scene. calling me madam? Because you're a woman. Am I? Does it suit me? What? Oh, yeah. I remember. Sorry. Half an hour ago, I was a white-haired Scotsman. When's the next train due? This is the last one back. But the doors are locked. How did you both get in? Driver's window was smashed in. What's your name? PC Khan, Hallamshire Police. Name, not title. Yasmin Khan. Yas, to my friends. Can I have your name, please? When I can remember it. You don't know your own name? Of course I know it. Just can't remember it. It's right there on the tip of my... What's that? Tongue. Tongue! Smart boy. Biology. What did she call you? Ryan? Yeah, Ryan Sinclair. Good name. Are you a doctor, Ryan? No. Shame. I'm looking for a doctor. Power, lights, doors. Poor woman. That thing must have killed as it came through. Must it? Didn't kill anyone else. Looks more like she died of shock when it smashed through the window. Either way, a woman has died here. But no more creatures. And no other passengers left on board. Let's get back to the others. Wait! Can you stop, please? This could be a major incident. I'm the one in charge here. What are you going to do? Call it into my station. What are you going to tell them? The facts. Which are? The train was attacked. By what? 
I need to take a look at CCTV footage. And why do you need to check CCTV when we all saw it with our own eyes? Was it an alien? Because it looked like an alien to me. Oh, come on. What, you think he's wrong? No. I don't know, but... But you're worried about how you will explain all this to a superior officer who won't believe you. I can't not report it. You could hold off until we get the answers to the bigger questions. Which are? What was it? Why is it here? Where is it going next? And most importantly, how do we stop it? Because whatever it is, I don't think it's done. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Yaz. I'm calling you Yaz, because we're friends now. Have you had a good rest? Damn you, doctor, open this door! Ah, sorry, it seems to be locked. Come, I've got to get the cut of gear. Now listen, doctor, be reasonable. This won't do you any good. Stotzi, we'll be touching down in a couple of minutes, or more likely crashing down, you see. I'm a bit out of practice with manual landing, so if I were you, I'd find something firm to hang on to. I'll murder you when I get in there, doctor. Time gets sorted out. Everybody here forgets what happened. And don't worry, the thing that you change will stay changed. You mean I'll still be alive? Though I'm meant to be dead. That's why I haven't done anything with my life. Why well, I didn't mean anything. It doesn't work like that. Rubbish. It was so useless I couldn't even die properly. Now it's my fault all this has happened. This is my fault. No, love. I'm your dad. It's my job for it to be my fault. Her dad? How are you her dad? How old were you? Twelve? Oh, that's disgusting. Jax, listen. This is Rose. Rose? How sick is that? She's given my daughter a second-hand name. How many are there? She called them all Rose. Oh, for God's sake, look, it's the same Rose. the oldest thing in here. Keep showing that stiff. They know what they're doing. Oh. <clears throat> what? He moved. 
Reflex. Maybe he isn't fully dead. Then he soon will be. Here comes the acid bath. Oh, <laughs> I hate this bit. They always do that. It's to show the ass is highly corrosive. Shut up. Who are you? You wouldn't believe me. You agents of Abel! Ah! I don't know what that is or even what he says. Sill's language transposer has an eccentric communication circuit. But uh, don't tell him. It's my only amusement. Don't upset the Galactron delegate, please. We need that agreement to sell the Zeiton ore to his company. On the starvation rate he offers us. Who else will buy our only asset? Why not find other mining companies who will refine Zyton ore on better terms? Who will pay the seven credits per unit, I ask? Why not, eh, Morph? Never! The people of Varus have voted to accept Sill's final terms. You, as governor, must impose their will or suffer death by default. After I extract the truth about this girl. And her companion, the doctor. Forgive me if I don't join you. Really, Doctor? A motorbike? It hardly seems like you. I rode this in the Anti-Grav Olympics 2074. I came last. The building is in lockdown. I'm afraid you're not coming in. Did you even hear the word anti-grav? Seriously. He can do that. He can really actually do that. Oh, dear Lord. I think that was your office. Excuse me. I believe there's someone to see me. Download her back into her body right now. I can't. Yes, you can. She's a fully integrated part of the data cloud now. She can't be separated. Then download the entire cloud. Everyone you've trapped in there. You realize what would happen? Yes, those still with bodies to go home to would be free. A tiny number. Most would simply die. They'd be released from a living hell. It's the best you can do for them. So give the order. And why would I do that? Because I'm going to motivate you. Any second now. You ridiculous man. Why did you even come here? Whatever for? I didn't. What? I'm still in the cafe. I'm finishing my coffee. Lovely spot. What are you talking about? You had people, but me. I'm old fashioned. I have technology. Here's your motivation.
which is fully integrated now. We have to download the entire cloud. We can't do that. No, we can't. She says. Entertain us, you die. Predictable as ever, gods of Ragnarok. As I think has been said before, I wasn't after. Anyway, you ain't seen nothing yet. Where's the doctor? Back at the circus. So you're on your own now? Not exactly. Look. what they're after. Oh, I might have guessed. So how do we get it back to the doctor? Oh, Dumbo! Not you two, me. I've got an idea. Come on! Wrong way! Not for this! Come on, Kate Ben. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for that overwhelming reception. And now I would like to begin like life at the beginning. Well, how did life begin? Was it with a chicken? Or was it with... What? Don't try our patience. Don't play games! You're not interested in beginnings. You're only interested in endings. Oh, no, not that thing again. Come on! Dumbo! Bellboy's robot! Dead right, Kingpin! <laughs> Bellboy's greatest mistake. What a place to choose. You may have the eye again, deadbeat, but you won't use it. You know that. You're not strong enough! You weren't before. At least I tried. You just gave in. Yes, and I shall get my reward. Last chance, deadbeat. Do we really believe in all that talk of peace and love? This thing had better work or I'll kick its head in. <laughs> For a moment I thought you weren't going to be able to make it stop. Funny you should say that. He used to be a great clown. I've never liked clowns. What? No complaints? No arguments? No thunderbolts? No, Doctor. We're not concerned that you're playing for time.
we have a saying. Let me guess. Give yourself enough rope and you hang yourself. by chance. I'm still within the first 15 hours of my regeneration cycle, which means I've got just enough residual cellular energy to do this. Witchcraft. Time Lord. Doctor! <laughs> oh, so I'm still the doctor, then? No arguments from me! You want to know the best bit? This new hand. It's a fighting hand. I win. Then kill me. I'll spare your life if you'll take this champion's command. Leave this planet and never return. What'd you say? Yes. Swear on the blood of your species. I swear. Yeah. Oh, well then, thanks for that. Cheers, big fella. Bravo! That says it all. Bravo! Ah, not bad for a man in his gym jams. Very off a dent. Now, there was a nice man. Oh, what have I got in here? A Satsuma. Ah, oh, that friend of your mother's, he does like his snacks, doesn't he? But doesn't that just sum up Christmas? You go through all those presents, and right at the end, tucked away at the bottom, there's always one stupid old Satsuma. Who wants Satsuma? No second chances. I'm that sort of a man. Government property. I always find that violent exercise makes me hungry. Don't you agree? Then you'd better enjoy your meal, Doctor, because it might be your last. Oh, you think so? You haven't seen the quality of my footwork yet. How many times have I told you? Violence will never get you anywhere. When you run with the doctor, it feels like it will never end. But however hard you try, you can't run forever. Everybody knows that everybody dies, and nobody knows it like the doctor. But I do think that all the skies of all the worlds might just turn dark if he ever, for one moment, accepts it. Why? Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? The thing is, future me a to think about it. All those years to think of a way to save her. And what he did was give her a screwdriver. Why would I do that? Look at that! I'm very good! What have you done? So 
five times. Stay with me! You can do it! Stay with me! Come on! You and me! One more! Platform disabled. Everybody knows that everybody dies. But not every day. Not today. It's okay. You're safe. You'll always be safe here. The doctor fixed a data core. This is a good place now. But I was worried you might be lonely, so I brought you some friends. Aren't I a clever girl? Aren't we all? For heaven's sake. He just can't do it, can he? That man. That impossible man. He just can't give in. Oh. <laughs> Some days are special. Some days are so, so blessed. Some days, nobody dies at all. Now and then, every once in a very long while, every day in a million days when the wind stands fair and the doctor comes to call. Everybody lives. to do your work. Oh, you craven gutted curs. He's but one man. Calm, count, count. Take the sorcerer too. A gold piece to the first that splits him. <laughs> Run like rat, sire! Back! Back to the palace! That was 
lucky. Huh? The brethren ran right past. Where's Sarah? She came down here. What do you mean you're not seen? What? At least she's wandering around in these catacombs. Let's have a look at this show. You've not spent all your life at books, Doctor. Just saved my life. This should staunch the blood. You know, the finest swordsman I ever saw was a captain in Cleopatra's bodyguard. He showed me a few points. Let's see. I don't know that Florence Nightingale would approve this little lash up. Did you find the temple, Doctor? Oh, yes. Elix energy is still there, all right. Played some very nasty tricks. It is an omen. The mighty Demnos has returned his victim to us. She who is the chosen sacrifice. This one assists the foreign sorcerer. She may yet assist him to his death before her hour of glory. Master, the great blade of our god thirsts for blood. Patience. Before this night ends, priest, there will be blood in plenty. That I promise. We of the brethren bow to your command, master. Then bind her well so that she may not struggle and cry out. Bring her to my chamber. <laughs> gloves. One each. Should work. Put it on. Because I thought to myself, what's the problem with hanging on? It's all the friction and the weight and the burn. So I, I got rid of that. Gloves are kind of super kinetic transfer of mass. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> the glove takes all my weight. All the weight is in the glove. So nothing burns, nothing pulls, nothing hurts. Ta-da! Yeah, all the mass and density and mavity exists in the glove, not in you. Super gloves? Yeah. No pulling us in. But where? What's up there? Goblins. Do you know why they call them goblins? Because they like to gobble you up. And this lot want to gobble up the baby. And this is where they feast. To us. Oh, oh, they will eat us too. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.